True friends love you anyway. Lord Krishna and Sudama were childhood friends. While Krishna thrived and prospered, Sudama didn't. He led the life of a poor Brahmin living in a small hut with his wife and kids. Most days, the kids wouldn't even get enough to eat from what Sudama got as alms. One day, his wife suggested that he should go and ask his friend Krishna for help. Sudama was reluctant to seek favours, but he also didn't want his kids to suffer. So his wife borrowed some rice from his neighbours and gave it to Sudama to take it to his friend. Sudama took it and set out to Dwarka. He was amazed at the gold that was used to build the city. He reached the palace gates and was obstructed by the guards who judged him by his torn dhoti and poor appearance. Sudama requested the guards to at least inform Krishna that his friend Sudama has come to meet him. The guard, although reluctant, goes and informs the Lord. On hearing that Sudama was here, Krishna stops doing whatever he was doing and runs barefoot to meet his childhood friend. Krishna hugged Sudama and treated him with utmost love and respect. Sudama, ashamed of the poor man's rice he got for Krishna, tries to hide it. But the all-knowing Krishna asked Sudama for his gift and ate the rice that his friend brought for him. Krishna and his friend spent time laughing and talking about their childhood, but Sudama, overwhelmed by the kindness and compassion showed by his friend, is unable to ask for help. When he returned home, Sudama finds that his hut had been replaced by a huge mansion and his wife and kids were dressed in fine clothes. Sudama realized how lucky he was to have a true friend like Krishna. He didn't even ask, but Krishna knew what Sudama wanted and gave it to him. The moral of the story is, true friends do not distinguish between rich and poor. They are always there for you when you need them.